my snakes are finally hatching. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that, kind of show you how I set them up, and uh, just show you what they look like. I think one is out of the egg, the other ones poke their heads out, and uh, so I'll show you the one that came out, and then I'll update you when the rest come out, which will be either later tonight or probably by tomorrow. Well, like two thirds of them. There's still six more eggs, but those aren't hatching for a couple weeks. And I'm probably gonna drop this video before those come out. But two sets of eggs have started hatching. So, boom! All right, so here's the incubator. You've seen it before. Boom, boom. There is the old egg boxes. Now I will pull them out and show you what's good. So here's the egg boxes. You can see the eggs inside. I had to add a little saran wrap because these uh, lids weren't tight at all and I had a little problem with humidity. You can see some of the eggs got a little knocked around in there because one of the babies came out. I just peeped in through the side and it looked like he might have dug himself under the dirt. So I might have to look around with my fingers a little bit and see where he went. But uh, let's get a little glimpsey here. All right, so there you can see. Oh, there he popped his head out right there. Boom, oh, he's already trying to make an escape. Nobody, but you can see there's the egg he came out of. And if you look close, you can see the bubbles moving because one is in there. And then one, you can barely see his nose sticking out right here. So those three eggs hatched and then the other batch that's still in the incubator, uh, a couple of those have started hatching. But I'm gonna go ahead, get this guy out of here, and put him in his little box. All right, so I just wanted to show you him before I put him in his cage. This is the old, one day old snake right here. You can see he, oh, he's kind of angry. Look at his little mouth opening up. Oh, he's striking like crazy. Right when they come out, they're a little bit ornery, as you could imagine. Look at that little guy. This is a normal black rat snake, and the other one is a lavender, and then I think there's another normal. He looks pretty light, to be honest. I'm gonna see what the other babies look like, but uh, this guy is super awesome, and it's my first black rat snake I've ever hatched, so I'm super pumped. I'm gonna go put him in his little box. Oh, he's going crazy. And uh, yeah, you can see how tiny he is. Look at this little guy. He's probably like maybe nine or 10 inches. So we'll get him in his little new home and uh, go from there. So here's what they will be going in until they have their first shed. It's just a little paper towel and it's nice and damp. And uh, this is just like the adult rack. There's heat tape in the back so they can stay warm. And then I'll add a little water dish. I have little holes on the side here and uh, for a little air. And I think that he might be able to fit out of those. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful, but we'll see. I taped up those holes and I noticed he had a little cool pattern on the back of his head. It almost looks like a scream mask or like a Punisher mask or something. So I might keep this little guy just cause that. I don't know if they, if black rat snakes all have that when they're babies or what, but I thought it looked pretty cool. Check this out. Look at that little thing on the back of his head. It looks like a little scream mask or a little Punisher mask or something. He's super feisty so it's hard to get a good view of it but oh yeah look at that see like the little right there kind of looks like a little scream mask or something two eyes and then a the long mouth but anyways got the holes all taped up got it labeled with the date and which kind of snakes it is now I just got to get the water dish in there and leave them until they have the first shed and then I will feed them but yeah the other ones haven't come out yet I will Update you again when they all come out so it's not such a boring video, but uh, yeah, I'm super stoked And this is how the rack system works by the way just in case any of you want to do get into this or something We have little drawers in there and you pull one out and then if you look in the back There's this little tape right here and this will heat up and there is a little thermostat on the bottom one that is controlled by this little guy so you pick the temperature and this is set at like 94 so it's probably like 90 in the cage and uh, all the little drawers will heat up to that exact temperature in the back so in the back they have a little warm spot and in the front they have a little cool spot so they can choose where they want to go and just kick it the first one from the other uh, clutch of eggs came out and that was from the two 
red ones and those have a possibility of making white ones red ones and black ones and the first one that came out was a little tiny red guy so i'm just going to show you that one since it was the other clutch and then once they're all out then i'll show you a complete review of all the snakes so here's the other one that came out you can see it's obviously red and white compared to the other one which was black and white so hopefully uh, the parents looked like this one and uh, hopefully like if you mix two that look like this together you can get an all white snake with blue eyes and that's what I was shooting for but only one of four comes out all white with blue eyes and there was three eggs so the odds aren't on my side but hopefully I get lucky you know what I'm saying but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back the last snakes are starting to hatch the white sided black rat snakes I had six egg six eggs five are peeking their heads out and one is out of the egg so i'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like i'm going to get the one that's out of the egg all cleaned up and put him in his cage and uh then that will pretty much be the end of this video i'll show you all the five or six white sides that come out once they're all back in their cage and show you the other ones because they've been out for like almost three weeks and they've already had two meals already but for now, let's get into the old incubator. The top is popped. I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy right here. And you can see one little baby snake is peeking his little head out. And there's a couple. There you can see there's a little open egg right there. And let's see. You can see barely in the back corner right up here. There's a little snake peeking his head out. I'll go ahead and take the top off so you can see it a little better. Alright, this guy's already ready to come out. But you can see right here, their little egg is cut open. That's because they have a little egg tooth on the tip of their nose that falls off after like a day or two. And that helps them cut open the egg. You can see this egg is open. It's a little covered with some slime and some, uh, some vermiculite. You can see this egg is open, this egg is open, so they're pretty much all open except this guy right here. Get it a little bit uncovered just to make sure. But yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five eggs and all of them are sliced open. The sixth one, I'm pretty sure there's a snake in it, but I remember one didn't have veins very much when I first uh, put some light to these, so I don't know if that one is going to hatch but these five or one is already out the other four should come out either later today or tomorrow morning I don't know which egg that one came out of let's see if I can find the empty egg I think it might have been this one actually yeah here's the empty egg so you can see I squish it there's nothing in there there he is all right, so I'm gonna give this little guy or girl a little bath and put him in his new enclosure. And probably by tomorrow, or tonight or tomorrow, the rest of them will be out and I'll give you the final hatchling update. Here's the dad to those snakes, just so you can kind of see what they look like when they're older. He's hiding in his little box. He had a big old rat the other day. But uh, yeah, so there's the dad and there's his little baby right there so you can see the difference from when they're babies to adults they look pretty cool as babies but uh yeah let's see if he bites me oh he's already ready to go look at that look at his little tail vibrating right there well he actually looks pretty nice the other ones came out were crazy and biting like little death noodles so you could see throughout that video my hair went from a lot of blonde and short to a little blonde and longer that is because the snakes hatched like two weeks apart and then now it's like almost two months later i didn't film every snake because i figured i'd make like an update video of the old collection after this so i hope that's not a bummer but if you do guys want to if you guys do want to see a collection update and see all 10 babies and all six adults plus i'm getting two possibly three more babies from my friend which are gonna be pretty cool well two of them look normal but they have some cool genes and then one doesn't look normal but i'm not sure if i'm getting the third one or not 
But anyways, if you guys do want to see a collection update with all the snakes after they've had a bunch of meals and they're starting to grow and everything they were born on seven six so i think almost two months ago now and uh anyways if you guys do want to see that video a little update video comment down below i know this isn't a fishing video but a lot of people were commenting to me and requesting that i do do more videos on the snakes and everything so if you do want to see that update video comment down below let me know i hope you like this video anyways peace out for now Oh yeah, and if anybody wants one of these snakes and you're in LA or you're down to pay shipping, which is like usually 50 or 60 bucks, uh, hit me up because I need to let two of these little guys go. I'm probably going to let all the males go, except um, there's one that came out that was like purple, which was the one I was shooting for. Out of three eggs, there was like a 1 in 16 chance, and I actually got that snake. So whether that's a male or a female, I'm keeping it, but all the other males I'm going to let go. So if any of you guys want one, hit me up on Instagram. I'll put the my Instagram right here. But anyways, yeah, for real, hope you liked the video. Peace out. See you next time, fish homies.